First and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. This is a very special day for us here at Kicking Bird Golf Club as we officially recognize not just the start of our construction, but this ginormous project that we have going on here at Kicking Bird Golf Club. I would like to start off by thanking our Edmond City Council, our Parks Board, and our Golf Advisory Board for without your support, this would not be going underway right now. I know that you made it a priority on your to-do list and I just can't thank you enough for your support with this project. I would also like to thank city staff, Larry Stevens, our city manager, Steve Commons, our ex-assistant city manager who's retired and is on his way to Branson, Andy Conyers, Ryan Oshner, our Parks and Recreation Director, Craig Dishman, for believing in our vision and what we're trying to do here at Kicking Bird because it's hopefully what you've seen on your pamphlets. This is not just a new clubhouse. This is everything golf in Edmond. And one of the neat things that I'm going to briefly touch on before I turn it over is our new tournament hall, banquet hall as well, which will be great for the community as well. But as I've mentioned, and as you'll see in your, in your handouts, much more than a clubhouse, this is just a transformational renovation that includes not just clubhouse, banquet hall, driving range pavilion, indoor teaching facility, where our old parking lot used to sit. This is going to be our short game practice area. So when many of you grew up here, we are the host of Edmond Memorial High School, Edmond North High School, and Edmond Santa Fe. And many of you know that there is great junior golf history that started right here at Kicking Bird Golf Club. I would absolutely like to recognize Mr. Art Proctor, our first ever director of golf. Art, thanks for being here today. And his family members, Billy and Tammy Mayfair, thank you for coming and joining us on this special occasion. I would like to thank all of our contractors that are making this happen. Bacchus Paint Architecture, Tom Hoke Design, Lippert Brothers Construction, Duesenberry Golf Design, Midwest Golf and Landscape, and EC Design Group. They all have a big hand in doing this project as well, and thank you guys for doing that. And I believe I've got a couple of staff members still coming back here from the pickleball facility, but our Kicking Bird staff, guys, if you could please raise your hands. I know you're in here, Brad, don't be bashful. Guys, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate your support and your loyalty through this transition because this has not been easy. There's a lot of hard work ahead of us and uh, we're carrying through and we're moving on and I just can't thank you guys enough. Before I turn it over to our mayor, I would like to just briefly go over what you see in your pamphlets of what this project is going to be. Basically, on top of this hill, which some of you may or may not know, this is the highest point in Edmond on top of that hill and the second highest point in Oklahoma County. And on top of that hill will be a 13,300 square foot clubhouse. Over here to the west, sitting on top of our current number nine green, it will be a over 6,600 square foot tournament hall banquet hall, which we're going to be naming an event center because this is where our community focus comes in. This is not just going to be for golf. This will be for any type of graduation parties, wedding receptions, whatever. We really hope to get the community involved. It doesn't just need to be golf, but in all facets as well. And then, as I mentioned earlier, we'll have our driving range pavilion, which will be hosting some driving range entertainment experience, much like a top golf experience. And then we're going to have our indoor teaching facility, which will help, will have uh, the highest uh, levels of instruction, club fittings, and that kind of stuff as well. And then, as I mentioned, our short game practice facility. But we really hope upon the completion of this project, I get a lot of questions. When do you think this may be done? Put our contractors on the spot here. We're hoping, we're hoping by November 1st of 2022. But as many of you know, we're very dependent upon the weather, and I'm sorry we've got our trip typical south wind here, but I certainly wanted you to get a good view of where we're going to be. Um, but as long as the weather cooperates, we hope to have this done in the fall of 2022. So with no, no further ado, I would like to turn it over to our mayor, Mr. Daryl Davis, for a few words. I was trying to think of some things to say that Brian didn't say, but I can. <laughs> uh, first of all, I do want to thank the city council present and, and past for their belief in this project. But beyond that, I also want to thank Brian because Brian st stood through it. He saw the meetings. He saw that it would be here one day and then it goes down here. It would be here one day. Then one day we called him and said, hey, Brian, it's out there. We're, gonna, we're actually going to do that. For the Proctor family, for the, 
the design of the original course, I'm up here looking at the new course, I've already seen four holes where I'm gonna lose balls. <laughs> but that's fine, I can handle that, I handle it. I appreciate that. City right, State. <laughs> uh, not the last time I checked, he still charged me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Got to make some money. Um, then the city staff from staff, Kicking Bird staff, your patience in this whole endeavor. Really appreciate that. And then the citizens of Edmond. People say, wow, you're going to spend a few coins on this golf course. But as, as Brian said, it is a multi use, multi function event center golf course. So you can do more than just play golf here and lose some golf balls. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to that first uh, shot off the tee box. And this is gonna be the, a gem for the city. And please, please keep the patience because we know I understand contracting. I understand that weather, because see the weather's coming in now and they're gonna probably call a weather delay because of the sprinkles. But <laughs> we really appreciate it from the city. We thank you all um, and we look forward to the future and for many more rounds to be played here at Kickingbird Golf Course. Thank you. This has been really exciting. I'll tell you a couple reasons why is because between Brian and his team and the Golf Commission, there was a commitment to do this project correctly, a commitment to spend the money and do all the features that the community needs, including the golf course, and that's very exciting for us. A little history, I played my high school golf as this is, was my home course, and that is a long time ago, I can tell you. So I've seen the remodels over the years and the addition to the clubhouse, and it, I'm just glad that we see dirt right now. How about you guys? So our design team started with the city and with Brian and with the council and the Golf Commission, but it also included SMC civil engineers, Zoll Ford structural engineers, Al Vine for MEP, and Tom Hoke for the interior design, and Colin Fleck, one of my young partners, was the design architect for the whole project, and that's where the vision came from between Brian and Colin. And we're just proud to be here. I'm proud to see the work. And uh, I'm just counting on Lippert not charging any weather days. Right, Joel? <laughs> Thank you all so much. Edmund will be proud of this. Thank you. Well, pretty much you guys have summed everything up. I'd like members of our advisory board that are here, if they could raise their hand. This group has been involved <laughs> from the start on interviewing candidates and going through the process. I'd also like to give special thanks to Mayor Davis and the council for their gung-ho approach to this. And personally, I'd really like to thank Councilman Chapman and Moore, who I've worked with, visited on the phone, met with. They've been fantastic to me and our board on helping us. And last, I don't know if people really realize what a wonderful staff we have here with Brian's leadership, who's who's been the guy that started this whole thing and right, right. Terry and Terry and Ben and the best golf superintendent we could possibly have Brad Jolliffe who's been working his tail off from the start so on behalf of the board we'd like to thank everybody and Brian all right, that's three minutes or less. That's fantastic. We, I, I basically, if those of you that know me, I sent out a deal that's like, okay, we got to keep speeches from three to five minutes and we'll be good to go. So, pace of play, keep it going. <laughs> that's exactly what we like to try to do. But again, Mayor, just like you mentioned, and I think the city, those of you that are here, you understand the importance of something like this. The city is investing close to $18 million into this project, and the payback will be seen shortly. We have some exciting news coming up. Um, but I think what we do is we open up people's eyes to potential. We're going to be hosting large events, bringing in business meetings and corporate events and those kind of things. And, and just I can't tell you enough, I appreciate your belief in our vision, and we look forward to, to moving forward with this project.